so this this part's about user experience. See, I do um, if you know the show, it's all about my my work, my life, you know, uh, technology and everything. So I do user experience. People don't understand. It's like this thing, like you know, search engine optimization. You know, no one really knows what that is, but user experience is something we do all the time. You don't even realize you're doing it. You're doing it all the time. So let me give you an example. Let's say you're at work. And you've already been to the cubified office pantry and activated the coffee pot dispenser and wound up in some small talk about the heat or the cold or the rain or the snow or the wind or some meteorological meaninglessness. And now you're back at your desk and you haven't checked email in like two minutes. So you get an email from a friend. And this is a friend who's going to Costa Rica. Now this is a friend who's always traveling somewhere and telling you about the wonderful places they're going to. As if you give a shit, they included a link to the hotel they're staying at in Costa Rica. Now, you're not doing anything related to travel, Costa Rica, or hotels, and maybe you need to convince yourself it's probably not that nice of a hotel. So you click on the link, and you're looking at the fucking hotel, and it's really fucking nice, and it's right next to a fucking mango plantation, and you're really into mangoes. And you remember the guy at the fruit stand down the street told you there's like 37 different kinds of mangoes, and, and then you remember seeing some headline on CNN.com, there's some kind of mango tree disease in India, and the mango tree disease, and the 37 different kinds, and the hotel's mango plantation all combined into a triangular shirk and a thought that stabs an impulsive spot in your brain, and you want to find out more about mangoes now. Go to Google. Google returns 274 million results on the word mango. You click on the first link, you take it to a website that has more information about mangoes than ever knew existed. The uh, mango pit was used by the Aztecs as a fertility symbol. And mango skin can be boiled down to a medicinal tea that cures rectal bleeding. And, and there's a link on there, you click it, and you can hear how the word mango is pronounced in Zambia, which is I, 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 I. And, and then in the middle of the page, there's something like moving around, there's like an animated sort of pattern. Like it's a, it's a brand new whatever the fuck it is. And you think, oh, you know, I'm like, I think I want to do whatever the fuck it is. So you click on the banner for whatever the fuck it is, and you're looking at this website for the company that makes and sells whatever the fuck it is, and you're looking at it, you're zooming in, you're zooming out, you do a 360 degree view of it, you need a cross section, you need a resealable Loctite, flick and flick, you're looking at everything, and then you decide, you know, if you're going to get whatever the fuck it is, you've got to get whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> so then you go into ordering. So you go into ordering, you just have to decide how, how you want to ship, where you want to ship, how you want to pay for it, you want a monogram, gift wrap size, color, texture, and then, because you've never been to this website before, you have to create an account. So we create an account, you put in your email, and then you gotta create a password. Passwords need to be between nine and 72 characters, must contain a number, a letter, a special character, a diphthong, and an umlaut. So you put all that in, you hit submit, confirm, order, and then you get an email. The email says, your order has been placed. And then you will get seven more emails. Your order has been placed, and now it's being processed. And then your order was processed, and now it's being packaged. And then you get another email that says, your order was packaged, and now it's being shipped. And it'll have a link in there to the, the tracking number. And you can go to the website for DHL, or USPS, or UPS, or FedEx, or LMNLP, and you can see your order going through the system. Maybe you see the order going, you get your orders in the, in the distribution center, and you can see it going down the conveyor belt, and it's with all the other packages in it. And you see your order going off the conveyor belt, and at the distribution center, and it goes out of there, and goes on a truck to the airport, and then it's getting the 1209 out uh, Reno, uh, the red eye, and it's sitting next to uh, the fat guy who snores in seat 29B, and then it gets to that, and then it comes out baggage claim, and then it goes to another distribution center, and then you can see that all on your computer, you can see where it's going up, up the conveyor belt in the distribution center, it's going down the conveyor belt, and then the local distribution center, it's getting really close now, and then it gets out of there, and it gets on truck 86509, it's driven by Carmine D'Amico, Carmine has two kids, and he's on a second marriage, things are going pretty good, you can see this all on your computer, and it's coming down the street, and it's like, like four fifths away back of the truck, the second shelf from the bottom, and, and Anyway, anyway, so uh, all of that, that whole thing, you know, with the, the, the email from your friend to the hotel, to the uh, mangoes, to the, the, the whatever the fuck it is, and the packaging, the shipping, all of that's a user experience. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me some more love. Yeah,